Hello, this is Mike from Windows7Forums.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a USB drive bootable. To create a bootable USB drive, insert your USB media and go to Google, type in Universal USB Installer. The Universal USB Installer is freeware utility created mainly for Linux installations, but it will allow you to pretty much make any software that you have that is on CD that is already bootable, bootable from a USB flash drive. Now this can be very useful if you don't have a traditional CD-ROM drive on your computer. As you can see here, we've downloaded the software. And just to preview it real quick, you normally want to save that and run it. Save it to the desktop if possible. And you can see that we have all sorts of Linux installations. But we also have the ability to boot up from utility CDs as well as Windows 7 and the Windows Vista installer as well as any unlisted Linux ISO. Now this will work on quite a few different things including crucial SSD firmware. Now solid state drives sometimes require firmware updates to work at their optimum capacity. However, a website like Crucial, for example, a company like Crucial, doesn't have the ability to provide those firmware updates on USB, only from CD. And this can create a problem with compatibility because some people only have USB CD-ROM drives and there is an issue with this firmware update when you're trying to boot your computer into it if you use a USB CD-ROM drive. Now, if you have the CD image of any sort of uh, bootable utility, you can go ahead and save it, get that image extracted, go ahead and run the universal USB installer, and you can go ahead and go down to a new syslinux, which is unlisted, and pick ISO Crucial there as an example and you'll want to use and make sure that you identify this correctly and format your USB flash drive. Now everything will be erased from here, but you'll be able to use this bootably on your computer as a bootable media device. Now an MBR will be created, which is a master boot record. The pen drive label will be applied to this device, and this is very useful because you will now be able to boot from this USB device using this software. And as you can see, this process is taking place. And if we have a crucial solid state drive, what would normally require a burnable CD now only requires a bootable USB flash drive. It can be any size. In this case, we're using a larger device. But thank you for watching. Visit us at windows7forms.com.